So on today's video, we're going to be doing a unboxing video of the CCR 9mm Luger shot shells. So to be honest, I didn't even know CCR made a 9mm uh, caliber bullet. I thought it was only 22s because that's all I've ever seen of them. So when I seen that, that was super cool. And then just seeing the bullets. As soon as I seen the 9mm bullets, I didn't even really pay attention to this. I've seen these bullets. I mean, when you, have you ever seen a 9mm? To look like that. No, I mean, that, you, that's, I mean, and this is super cool. This is a super cool little round. Uh, my friend said that you are caught a snake shot, you know, so you can shoot a snake with it. I guess, um, if it's indoors or something, like a rat shot, you know, something like that, uh, which I do believe that's what it's for. He said that, um, you know, I know this is an unboxing video, but the dude that I got these from said that, you know, if you put it in a gun, these are likely to jam your gun or to make you think that your gun messed up and it's not going to fire because the uh do not have enough powder in them uh so it won't have enough blowback to make your gun go black or blow back uh but i said i have a glock so who knows what's going to happen there the they are a one slash eight ounce 12 shot so i guess i have 12 of these one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i have ten of them so 12 shot i'm there's more than 12 shots in that uh, pellet, so I have no idea what that means. It does have a warning label on the back, you know. Warning, keep out of reach of children. And then and it kind of does it in different languages. Uh, it kind of just tells you the warnings of them. Nothing, nothing too much about these. It says do not reload these. So I guess you can't reload these cartridges, which I don't, I don't know how you could reload one of them. Kind of crazy looking, ain't they? I want to see if I can find the, uh, you know how most of the boxes or some of the boxes will tell you the grainage of these. That's what I'm kind of looking for real quick. Well, I guess it doesn't have a grainage. Um, tells you how much grainage is on these. So it is sealed with a sticker. And I've never opened these. I mean, these are completely sealed, as you can see. But it does kind of, this is kind of cracked a little bit. I guess people have pushed down and, you know, try to mess with it and stuff. So I'm going to open it up right now. You're going to be the first witness of me opening these. Oh, well, that was easy. Just ripped it open. Okay, so it opens... Uh, I guess to the side. Nope, it just opens up completely regularly. So, first look, this is, I mean, this... It feels like something out of a movie, honestly, because, I mean, like, it looks like you got the uh, antidote or something here, or the special bullet right there. I mean, look at how cool they are. They're a little blue. They're blue with little, little BBs inside of them. It's like a, it's like a shotgun. I mean, this is, this is super cool. This really is. I'm going to get one of them out. And uh, show you. I ain't trying to mess with these. I'm, I ain't trying to mess one of them up. You know, I'm, I ain't trying to get them all out, actually. But I might have to get one out. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm going to set this back. Put that one there. And we're going to put this one here. So they do have a little rattle to them. It's kind of like a little rattlesnake. So that right here. So here's the bullet. Right here. Spin, 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 spin. And the tip of it, it's kind of, it's just round. It does have a little flat spot right there. On the tip of it, and then on the bottom of it, it's more, it's got a silver uh, primer, I guess. I guess that's what it's called, like the rest of them do have. And it says on it, it says 9mm Luger uh, CCI. Sorry, I had to read it. So it just says, you know, kind of what it is um, and who it's by. So this, I'm going to set this here, and then I'm going to grab a regular full metal jacket uh, by the SIG. I'm going to grab it out and I'm going to show you guys the size comparison and see if they're the same size. So, size-wise, you can be the judge of that. I'm going to put them both in my hand flat, kind of line them up so you guys can see. So, size-wise, the full metal jacket may be a little smaller than it. Uh, it does look like it is a thicker bullet than this one. Uh, and then also, uh, as you, I mean, you can tell, the blue part of this and the uh, copper part of this, the blue is bigger than the copper. I know that has a secondary term, but it slipped my mind, so that's why I said the uh, blue and copper. But this, yes, this one looks like the bigger bullet compared to this. So I don't know what, what he meant by it doesn't have enough ammunition or powder, but I do believe that probably is true because this is a test one. I think they use these for indoors, so the more powder it have to make this very deadly to a human. Or, you know, I guess you don't need that much powder if you're going to do it indoors. But seriously, I mean, let's let's get this one out of the way. 
If I was to show you, like take take this off, take the shot shell off, and just have a clear um, case, and come up to somebody and be like, you know, what do you what do you carry? And then show them, you know, just a clear case, kind of just like this. Yeah, this this is what I carry. I mean, they're gonna think, man, that's that's a scary round. Because I mean, really, have you ever seen a nine millimeter to have or any bullet to even look like this? Unless it's in a sci-fi movie. This is super cool. It really is. Uh, I like them. I've never shot one. There's only 10 of them. I never needed to. If I ever have a pest or something, like outside, you know, I don't want to do them indoors. Uh, but if I ever have a pest, I will definitely do a video of shooting one of these. Uh, and showing you guys, you know, how they work and if it does do a significant amount of damage, I guess. You know, kind of kind of give you guys ideas. Because I've never even heard of a 9mm or one of these or even seen these. these. Uh, and I've looked up different bullets. I've looked up all kinds of different bullets for my uh, 9mm because I wanted the best one. And this never even came up. So maybe it's because it's not the best. Uh, but I did look up all the brands of 9mm or all the different styles you can get. And this was never an option. So oh, who knows? I mean, maybe these are new. Maybe they're not. Never really done research on them. I'm just doing a unboxing type video and kind of a first look. So super cool. I mean, even if you don't ever shoot one of these or if you like go to a gun store, you know, and people's like, yeah, I carry a 9mm hollow point. Okay, I carry, I carry this. And show them that round, you know, cock the bag or something or pull your uh, mag release out and show them. Hey, this, this is what I carry. I mean, they're going to oh, wow. I mean, that's a scary looking round. Be really real. So... I would do a shooting video sometime soon so you guys can see if they work pretty good uh, or how they work or if they jam or, you know, like I said, how you said that you have to manually feed it into your gun. So you have to trigger, pull back, trigger, pull back, you know. Who knows? Hopefully it doesn't do that because I do have a Glock and they say Glock will fire almost anything. All right. See you then. Uh, I don't know why I did that. It's supposed to look cool. That's what that's supposed to be.